So hello everyone. Myself Pavani. I am working as assistant professor in the AML department at MLR Institute of Technology. Today I would like to give a session on probabilistic parsing. In previous video we discussed about what is a parsing and parsing techniques and morphological parsing. In today's session we discussed about probabilistic parsing. It is a very very important concept in probabilities parsing. How we are finding the probabilities? How the sentence is important, right? Come to the introduction and overview of the session is what is the uh, PCFG right uh, in previous video we discussed context free grammar right CFG so how we are using uh, CFG in replacement of the probabilistic context free grammar let's see coming to the introduction part so what is the meaning of probabilistic parse it is a statistical model that assigns the probabilities to the parse trees selects most likely one as it means we are assigning the probabilities to the parse trees so uh, we have our sentence contains two possible trees so one two how how we can select this possible uh, possible trees is the final trees right based on the likely most possible uh, probability possible tree we can select that particular tree let's see a grammar g and sentence s a parse d t of s for the sentence so we have some grammar Uh, sentences and parse t, t of s. Let's see the parser. Pi star equal to argument of maximum of pi belongs to t of s pi or s pi comma s or pi. This is a final uh, pro probable parse tree. To the implementation of statistical parsing based on the we already discussed right based on the probabilistic context free grammar. So we, first we have to do this one. We have to know about the. Uh, Context of free grammar. What is the meaning of context of free grammar? A CFG where each rule has a proper probability. That means we have to use CFG for to find out the probabilities. So rule is a tends to alpha. That is a tends to alpha. Here we are adding a tends to alpha to probabilities. This is a p is a probability. That means here a being written as a alpha, right? For non-terminals, the sum of probabilities all all rules starting with a a must equal to that means here equal is to compulsory equal is to one right we have to satisfy the condition sum of a tends to alpha is equal and to one that means whenever we have to expand the sentences the probability of the each and every substring is equal and to one how it is right we let's see the example so before that. PCFG is defined as a pair of G comma S, where G is a context free grammar, F is a positive function. We already know, right? Define over the set of rule by using CFG. Uh, in CFG, they define some rules. We have to follow the rules to um, to derive the probabilities, such that the sum of the probabilities associated with the rules expanding particular non-terminal is one. Same. We have to satisfy this condition, right? How we can satisfy this condition? Let's see the example. We can verify that for each non-terminal, the sum of the probabilities is one, right? We already discussed in uh, previous, uh, right? How? Let's see. Uh, these are the rules, right? Sum s tends to n p, sum s tends to b p. This is uh, this is a function of expansion of the expansion of the structure, expansion of expansion of very very important concept. That means f expansion of the structure S, right? Like this, N P V P. Suppose zero point eight, zero point two. So eight plus two that is equal to one, right? Zero point eight plus zero point two equal to one. How? That means eighty percent of the noun phrase, uh, and twenty percent of verb phrase. Like this, we are calculating. How we are calculating based on the this this probabilities. Context of free grammar, P C F G given, right? This is the estimation, underestimation like this, right? This is the estimation. Let's see. So, noun phrase next. This is the expansion of structure, right? This is second one is the expansion of noun phrase. Let's see. Zero point four. Zero point two, zero point two, zero point two. This is all equivalent to one, right? Four plus two, plus two, plus two. It equal to one. Same. Zero point four, zero point two, zero point two, zero point two, 
some 0.2 like this 40% of the determined noun and 20% noun and 20% pronoun 20% like preposition noun preposition right we are dividing like this right next expansion of the verb expansion of verb let's see 0.5 0.3 0.2 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.2. That means verb phrase is a 50% and verb is 30%. Verb and proportion is 20%, right? How the uh, importance we are giving is that, that particular PO is, right? Like this, we are uh, calculating 0 0.5, 0 0.3, 0 0.2 based on the given diagram, right? Let's see. Next one, expansion of the preposition. Expansion of preposition. Let's see. First one, preposition noun phrase is one. Determiner this is 0 0.2. Determine that is 0 0.2 and 0 0.25 and 0 0.35. Like this one. See, this is the I wrote, uh, I wrote in last, right? This one. So, we calculate this here 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.25, 0 0.0, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, 0 0.25, 0 0.35, like this, right? Yes, exactly correct. Okay. So, 0 0.2 plus 0 0.2 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.35 is equivalent to 1. This is the expansion of the preposition, right? Next, next. See next one. Expansion of the noun. This is a noun phrase. This is expansion of noun. Let's see. 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25, 0 0.25. Like this. Okay. 0 0.25. This is a equal priority we are giving. 0 0.25, 0 0.25. 25%, 25%, 25%. That is equivalent to 1. Right. Next second, next next one, expansion of pronoun, right? Let's see, 0 point twenty percent, twenty percent. Sorry, next uh, pronoun is lost in the here in, in table. Pronoun is 0 point three five, zero point three five, zero point two five, zero point three five, zero point two five, zero point two five. Finally, you will get one, right? Last next one. Expansion of verb, right? Zero point here verb. Zero point two, 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 zero point two. Same like this, we can write zero point two. Whenever we calculate this uh, expansion of uh, substrings, it must and should satisfy the condition that is equivalent to one. Zero point two plus zero point two plus zero point two, zero point two is equivalent to one. These are the substance, right? Next one. Prepositional. Final one. Preposition. Expansion of. Expansion of. Preposition. That is 0 0.3 plus 0 0.25 plus 0 0.2. 0 0.3. 0 0.25 plus. With 0 0.25. On 0 0.2. And next 0 0.25. This is all equivalent to 1. Right? This is all about the probabilistic con uh, context of free grammar elements. Right? Let's see next. This is continuation. Each row. Yes, Each row represents a production rule with an associative property probability that means each row represent a probability side each row represent a associative probability rule to do that means each row represents a production rule with the associative probability right let, let, left hand side rule shows a non terminal right these are the left hand sides that means non terminals are non phrase you, we already discussed in yesterday class yesterday sorry we all discussed in previous video non terminals are non phrase verb phrase prepositional phrase and verb we have the non terminals right these are the 
left hand side. So these are the non-tabular. Right hand side shows the possible expansion. Sorry. Left hand side is the non-terminals. Non-terminals. Right hand is the possible expansion. Right? This is a point. Right hand is non-terminals. Right hand is the possible expansion. So the probability next reach defines how often the role is used when non-terminal is expanded. How we are calculating the probability. For, that means we have to calculate the maximum likelihood estimation. That means in we have suppose uh, take one sentences. A sentence has two possible past trees. We have to calculate the maximum likelihood estimation probability of the past tree. That is the condition we have to reach the final. Right? The maximum likelihood estimation is fraud a tends to alpha e is given by expression is probability of a tends to alpha divided e equivalent to count of a to alpha count of a to alpha divided by count of summation of alpha count of a to alpha. We have to do this MLE. How you can do it? Let's see. If our training corpus consists of two parts three, that means we are taking one example, right? Paint the door with the hole. This is the example. Paint the door with the Whole, right this is the sentence right so the possible trees are two first one second one so what is what is our uh, job we have to get, uh, get the mle possible most mle parts tree that means based on the grammar rule supply we have to calculate the most possible tree how we can calculate this see so we have assigned the probabilities to each parts tree Pi of sentences. Then how we are calculating? Let's see. Thus, these are the rules, right? S tends to VP, NP2 determiner, like this. S tends to VP, NP2 determiner, noun, phrase, word, proposition. These are the conditions we are taking based on this diagram, right? Right? NP2 determiner, now NP2 determiner, now like this. We are taking like this, okay? So finally, how uh, we are counting count of A to alpha. How we get the 2, right? So S2 VP, how many times are there in both two parties? Here one time, here two times. Like this, we count 2. So count of A, count of A means for a sentence, the parsing, the count of A means here S tends to VP. S tends to VP, the count is 2, right? Next, NP2 determiner noun phrase. How many times the occurrence of A? Count A is 2 times. Next, NP determiner noun phrase. That is, NP determiner noun phrase is only one time, right? Here, only one time. Only one time only. In this, in this, in this parse tree, it is not there. Only, he, first parse tree is available, right? NP determiner noun phrase, prepositional phrase, right? So, one time. So, how many times? That is, uh, 4, how will come? 4. Count of A. That is, count of A. That is, 1, 2, 3, 4. Like this. No. Count of A will come, right? 4. Next one. 3. NP2, determiner, noun. 3. NP2, determiner. NP2, determiner. Noun NP2 determiner noun. See here also NP determiner noun. NP determiner noun. Sorry, it is not considered right. This one like this one, two, three. This is three. So, like this, we can calculate up to uh, fi uh, final MLE last. Uh, last uh, a substring next for a sentence the parts generated by the cfg the are the same as those generated by corresponding cfg here the pcfg assigns a probability of each parts let's see the example there are two parts trees same repeated right previous the probability of each parts tree is calculated multiplying the probabilities of the rules how we calculate this uh, parts t1 is 
P of T1 means parts T1, right? This one. We are calculate this like this. We have to work to work like 0 0.2, 0 0.5, like this. We can we can add all this. My multiply this we get this uh, this amount, right? After this, P2, like this, we can get in this example, first tree has the higher property. How we get 0 0.2 means S tends to PP. Uh, that is 0 0.2 right here like this we can take s tends to vp 0 0.2 next uh, mm, vp2 verb that means verb to paint that is vp2 verb is that is 0 0.5 like this we can take from the pcfg context free grammar table like this we can take all the possible notes like this whenever we can take right 0 0.5 like this 0 0.2 we can calculate like this all this finally we get this solution right so after this all get right it belongs to this we can calculate the probability sentence by summing up the properties of all so after we get the uh, uh, higher power parts tree then we will add the final probability of the sentence P of T1 equal to P of T2. This is about the PCFG, very, very important concept. Summary about uh, discussion we discussed about uh, what is the meaning of probabilistic parsing and PCFG with example. Thank you.